Okay, one more short video. Um, I may or not, may not come back um, sooner or later. I'm not, I mean, I'll definitely come back sooner or later, but um, how soon is, um, depending on how much I learn and what I'm learning on and how much I want to share with people. Uh, second off, keep, keep Yahweh out of your head. You look it up in um, concordance, there's no concordance for Yahweh. There is no, um, it was not in the Bible. It's an absolute lie. Um, there is no concordance for um, WH, YHWH. Um, that's some BS they put in there. Um, there is, um, concordance for Yehovah, which is a third person translation of Hawa, but what they said for all, uh, must call them all generations is Hey Hawa, in um, Exodus 3.14. And, um, <clears throat> I will be, I will be back. Absolutely. I mean, if I figure out enough tomorrow, I'll come back tomorrow night and put another video on. Just so I'm not saying something and, then, um, sh I'm showing up again tomorrow. I seriously doubt it, but, um, I, but if not, then, um, it may be a week or two, you know, I mean, but, um, I do hope somebody, some people watch this and find some truth, um, not this one, but the other one, and keep studying, keep, keep praying, keep Keep mount, um, keep struggling. I mean, if whatever you gotta do to get spiritually right, I don't suggest long term fasting. I mean, we all fast to a certain degree, but Hawa has told us in every law to not do anything that harms our body, and long term fasting does harm the body. Because you lose muscle mass and stuff like that. I mean, with um, their grace, I mean, I'm sure you can do anything. But I do not personally um, suggest long-term fasting. I mean, I do suggest fasting at times. 24-hour, uh, 48-hour um, week fast, you know, five days. But... Um, these two, three week fasts, I don't think it's good for you. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying that it doesn't look like it's good for your body. And then, if they don't even want you painting your skin, why would they want you to do something that would harm you? Um, just a personal thought. Um, but live your faith however you gotta live it. Um, Find absolute truth and happiness. I mean, however it is. Realize that this medication they're trying to give us is not true. Is is absolute drugs. They're trying to poison you. If you can live as with as little processed food as possible. Um, you can buy almost anything organic, but it does cost. Um. You, Grow your own food, grow your own, um, your own seasons, your own, um, your own plants, medicine, I mean, study, um, plants, I mean, there's a plant that will treat just about anything you got wrong with you, if you just figure out what the plant is, roots and flowers or, um, spectacular, um, trees and stuff, um, uh, vines and different things like that have all kinds of help. Um, figure out um, how to live in Nashville because um, here soon we're going to 
see some things that are going to change the entire aspect. I'm not saying we're going to be living in like the Stone Age, but it's going to change the entire aspect. And really, I think um, with the people that are going to survive and what they're already figuring out, refiguring out, um, we're probably living better than we are now. I mean, because they are figuring out how to cut stone, move stone, um, do all these things that they knew how to do thousands of years ago. They're just now re refiguring out how to do it. And it's been suppressed so long, but they've actually got all the, um, they got a lot of this stuff blueprinted out. And the ones that don't have it completely down, if they're, we can, um, piece together everything that they um, already did because we most of us already know this is um, this is the truth we just gotta have the, the stuff to do it and people are already working on it I mean and but keep on keep on studying keep on um, praying and um, keep your head up keep on marching like I always say um there is absolute truth out there. But truth is perception. So your truth is going to be what you think. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be absolutely true, but your your belief of truth is um, going to be what you think. Well, a lot of people um, believe that we live in a, um, a round earth in a mass universe, and then to them that is reality. It doesn't mean it's true, but for them that is reality. Um, doesn't mean it's real. It's just what they they believe, and that's going to be absolute reality for them. Um, but I'm gonna go. Um, I didn't even mean to spend this much longer. Um, as always, la hawa, and may you be blessed.